but everyone has. I, I'm seeing a lot of people with this car. I see. That's the thing about my cars. Nobody else got mm. one. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather take, uh, you know, quality over quantity. I'll be real. I agree. I agree. Especially now with the car market being so shit. You know, even though I have like, you know, close to a million dollars, I have the shittiest car that cost me like 50k. How do you have millions of dollars, Cleo? I don't know. I started decorating a house, got money from that, and then, you know, he gave me 500k, which was really nice of you, and then, uh, Bryce gave me a bunch of money, I think Bundy gave me some money. I like to call it my pity money, but I don't think it is pity money. How much money you got total right now? 950,000. I'm 50k away from him. Oh, that's not bad. Hell yeah. Well, I don't really care for money that much, though. I mean, money means nothing. Come on. It really, it really doesn't. Because the thing is, if I go ahead and buy something nice, then I'm not gonna have money left, and then I'm, I'm broke. Yeah, unless you make more money. You, know, you always gotta be making money. Money can always be spent, but money cannot always be made. I want to make, yeah, I want to do something rather than not do something, you know? Uh, where the fuck is it? You're gonna make me fucking walk slower, too. You're so slow when you walk. Jesus. <laughs> Why are you always in a rush, man? You know, I'm just, that's how, just how I am. <laughs> Fuck. I'm fucking up. One second. <laughs> I'm fucking scuffed. You okay? Oh, there we go. I'm good. Yeah, let's go. So where are we going? To this fucking tombstone. Oh, okay, whose tombstone? Phone call. Not one second, sorry. What's yeah, up, Marlo? Is it distasteful if I tweet about how unfortunate it is that no Pixel Cards Gen 2 and Autos Gen 2 are canceled? Uh, don't add fuel to the fire, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you, you can tweet the first one out about James Ross and I'll fuck that guy, but just don't fuck with Otto. I, I don't want that guy to come create a headache for us. All right. I just thought Otto Shen 2 was hilarious, but I, I won't do it. I won't add to the fire. I mean, text the first, uh, tweet the first one. Fuck James Arsenal. Yeah, fuck James Arsenal. All right. All right. Get you. Bye. See, isn't this nice? Walking outdoors in the rain. Oh, this is fucking horrible. It's ruining my suit. Okay. This tombstone right here? Yes, this one. This side. <laughs> uh, the grave was actually all fucked up last time I came here. Born like June 28, happened. 1991. Died September 7th. September 27, 2022. If I could do it all again, I wouldn't change a thing. Hey, uh, Cleo, you mind looking away for a second? Sure. What am I hearing yeah. right now? Fuck this motherfucker. Lang, are fucking you riddance. Are you taking a piss on his tombstone? <laughs> yeah, fuck Michael Simone. <laughs> um, so how did he die? Um, apparently Reed Dankley, which I don't believe for a second that someone like Reed would be able to kill someone like Michael. And how how did uh, how did he kill him? Like just shot him or? I don't know. I I can't remember. Um. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, Lang. Like I, this guy was a was very. Like I was around. I was a cop when they started investigating this shit when he first surfaced and stuff. And um, yeah, everyone was. Everyone had their eyes on Michael. Tell me what did Toby say? Michael had his eyes on a few people, uh, but. Toby, this is your fault. I wanted to be your friend, man. Nick. Everyone ignored Nick, and I was like, this guy is... And I didn't help, I'll be honest. I really didn't help in certain areas, but I didn't know what to do. The guy... They're both fucking insane, and Michael's whole spiel was there's too much PD corruption and it needs to, you know, be sorted out. But now his his brother, Nick... Really? That's what he said? Yeah, that was his whole thing. He was like, it's PD corruption. This is due to PD corruption. And you need to, you need to quit because you stabbed Nick or whatever. From what I can recall. Um, and the whole reason I did that was because the dude attacked first. He Listen, Cleo, Michael's first. alive. Oh. 
<laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I met with him uh, like three weeks ago, four weeks ago now. Why? Uh, I forgot why, actually. Well, remember why? Um, I think it was over the tweet I did about Nick Simone being a terrorist. Uh, okay, what was discussed? He uh, wanted to know what I hated about his brother, what I hated about him. Uh, what else did we discuss? Um, I called them uh, trust fund babies. Put your, uh, put your phone away. Put your phone away. Uh, hold on, put I'm reading some business shit. Relax. No, no, put it away because they put a tracker in my arm and they probably have access to a bunch of shit. They could be listening right now. They could. They I could don't give something. a shit. They don't they scare me, Cleo. They scare me. Yeah, well, well, now you know that uh, my I, someone's I alive. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know you. No one, no one has my back. The only person who genuinely has my back is the assistant chief of police. But there's only so much that guy can do. But he ain't got shit, with all due respect. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know that he used... So what, what was the situation with Bundy and uh, him, like, using a sniper rifle that was, like, from the Simones to shoot somebody or some shit? You hear about that? Yeah, it was, that was the day I died. So how did he acquire their gun? Like, they, did he steal it from it? Like, what the fuck happened with that? I think it was given to him, and a car was also given to him. I don't fucking know. I don't. I don't. You never know. question I, who gave that to him. I don't remember him. I don't remember Bunty. A lot of things I don't remember, but the guy's a really fucking great guy. There's only one person. Oh, in There's two so people like, so like, would it shatter your trust. world if the, if like Bundy was working with the Simones? It, he wouldn't be working with the Simones. There's How did he acquire a fucking sniper rifle? I don't fucking know. I can't remember. Never. Uh, I guess you can't remember. So I guess you never asked, huh? I don't know. All I know is the guy's a good guy. And he, uh, there's only two people in this world that I 100% fucking trust. And that's Bryce and Bundy. Interesting. Interesting. And you've never. Why? So wait, Bundy is your father, right? Yeah, yeah. Technically speaking, yeah. Like adopted, biological. Adopted. Interesting. And has has he been trying to chase down Nick Simone? You know, uh, has he does he give a shit about this whole situation anymore or what? I mean, the investigation is fucking closed. Everyone thinks that guy is dead. Uh, not everybody. Uh, Nick is, okay, yeah, I mean, I didn't believe he was dead, but I ain't gonna lose sleep over it. I'm not gonna look into it, and nor am I gonna. Who the fuck knows? Fine. But he's alive. Yeah. Um, I would imagine anybody with a brain. Uh, I, I, but they, like they probably wouldn't know, like confirm, but the, but a lot of people assume okay, he's alive. So all the all the people that he probably associated himself around knows he's alive. Okay. Uh, all the people he associated himself probably. I mean, I don't really know who the fuck is he. He's in Seaside, why right? He tell him, I don't know. Why? Why did he tell me? I mean, why not? Or well, why the fuck do I got to keep that a secret? Fuck the Simone brothers. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but are you gonna go around telling anyone else if they ask? Well, I, I mean, mean, depends I who asks. Would, uh, okay. Um. I okay. Look, you've had three weeks to process this. I'm processing this right now. What the fuck, dude? Why, why do you care about Bundy? I, I don't actually care about Bundy. I just I I when I heard the story about him uh, acquiring a sniper rifle from the Simone He's not brothers. He's with them. He's not, I can guarantee you he. So who did he use that sniper rifle on? Fucking Norman Bones. So he teamed up with Simones to kill Norman no, not Bones. No, no, no. The Simones weren't involved. He just had it. He, I'm, I'm, a, I don't, I look. There's a lot. Of, How do you just you have just some though, Cleo? Just ask Bunty. He'll probably tell you. Just ask him. Maybe you should ask him. Why would I ask him that? That's just to see his reaction. I, I, there is. You ever wondered why the Simones never got caught? Bunty is not the reason why those dudes did not get fucking caught. I mean, he, he might not be the reason, but you know, he might be a reason. 
Bundy is the most, he's the least corrupt person <laughs> ever. That man That's... has every single reason. Now I know you know you're lying. He's not corrupt. He's never done anything corrupt in that sense. He, he... Except using a sniper rifle obtained from a known terrorist to kill another man. It's not another man. It was death. It's the guy, Norman Bones. Oh, All right, to I'm kill dead. Norman Bones, whatever he entity he House. may be. He he just, you know, bent the, the, the law to his benefit. It wasn't bending the law. Did he, did you not just see the same amount announcement? If you murder a supernatural being like a zombie, werewolf, vampire, etc., you will not be prosecuted. I mean, that was to, you know, you got me there. Because Crane did do that today, but that was today. That wasn't, you know, wherever the fuck That's this shit not happened. Lang, are you really questioning, like, Bundy shooting someone who terrorized, who's making my heart fail, who's who's still a, still being a piece of shit? Why would you not want to kill the god of death? I don't know. I, I don't blame That's him for, for saving her life and killing the god of death, but you can't tell me he's not corrupt. He's not dead. The guy's not dead. The, the death guy's not dead. He's still out there. Okay, for whatever he did, but you can't tell me that isn't oh by definition god. corruption. You're, come with me again. <laughs> We're going somewhere. <laughs> I'm just saying, Cleo, there's a reason the Simones never got caught. And you probably Lang, don't care, but, uh, you know. You, Lang, why? You know what? <laughs> I'm going to arrange a meeting between yourself and Bundy so he can speak on his, his, on his own behalf. Because that man is the least corrupt person that I know and the most genuine individual that I know that has been dealt a really shitty hand. Yeah, well, I mean, I won't show up to that meeting, Cleo. Everything I'm telling you here is in, uh, is, is between us, is in trust uh, of our friendship that you won't uh, talk to anybody else about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, okay, all I'm doing, okay, then what I'll do is I suggest you speak to Bundy in your own time if you want to about this because I'm telling you my <laughs> opinion and you know how I feel about the majority of this city and you know how I feel about these cops in this city, but he ain't one of them. He ain't one of them. Sometimes Fred is. the Fred truth is. will set you Jeretti free, Cleo. Is. The anyway, truth will set you free. Moving on from Bundy, <laughs> because we are not agreeing on this. Okay. You met with Michael. What what did he talk about? It was because of the it was because of the twat. What did he want? Uh, he wanted me to, uh, he wanted to see if I was going to go after his brother or where I stood with, uh, him blowing up my car and shit. I told him I could give a fuck, uh, you trust fund babies, uh, you know, don't scare me. Uh, I insulted his brother uh, multiple times, uh, said, uh, what else did I say? I don't know, it was just like a, it was like a dick swinging contest, you know what I mean? We we're just swinging at each other. I... Uh... Lang, they need to die. They actually feel yeah, but Cleo, these guys are not die. gonna die or go to jail when the entire city protects them, including the police yeah. force. And have have you why why does everyone have their dick so far down their fucking throat? That is a question is I ask myself power? every is morning I wake up. Money? Is it literally just because of power? Is it because of some What power do they have? They have no power. They have access to stuff, I guess, like cipher rifles and bombs and tracking devices. And nobody can get access to that shit. It's not hard to meet somebody. Okay. All right. I agree. I'm not arguing with you. I completely agree. But that defeats the purpose of why the fuck does ever... Is it just, is it just all talk? No bite? I think it is all talk. A little bit of Even bite. They're on a they're on a platform, aren't they? Like they're on a pedestal. I mean, yes. They've been raised on a pedestal, and the more people talk about how they're scary and whatnot, the more people are gonna be like, oh my god, blah blah blah. It's like with Norman. You talk about Norman, and everyone decides to fluctuate towards that fucking location and make a deal with him, even though that fucking guy will ruin your life and will continue to ruin your life. And it's hey, hey listen, I, I ain't fucking with the god of death, all right? I already fucked yeah, too many gods. Who else did you? What do you mean? <laughs> Listen, listen, Cleo. What the only mean, question God I... Blank. I don't give a fuck what about the God of mean? Death or any of that shit. Okay, listen. I've been trying to figure out, okay, why these mm -hmm. guys are so well protected and nobody can give me an answer. But then I start hearing things, okay, how fucking... 
Jenny and fucking Bundy and some other fucking individuals Jenny? are all involved in this investigation, being biased, yada, yada, yada. What well, about Jenny? I don't know. Something about her protecting, uh, protecting, uh, was Nick or Michael or some shit? I don't fucking remember. Listen, listen, I get, I get fed a lot of information and, you know, it's, it's very hard to remember everything. But I, I did, you know, the light bulb went off when I did hear that the police was protecting these motherfuckers because that is the only way it makes sense. They've never been dealt with. Okay, so, I mean, we could go around and talk in circles and circles about these dudes, but, like, what do we... Oh, I'm going to take down the Simone brothers eventually. How? Like, what are your ideas? Um, how is a whole oh other God. can of worms I, I do not idea. trust you with, with all respect, Cleo? Why the fuck not? Because I don't, I don't really know you that well. Yeah, well, then get to know me. I'm not saying give me your trust. Trust is not given. It's earned. Yeah, but listen, there's some people, you know, in the way. Like I said, these guys are protected oh, by everybody, even by people, people who. In the, in the way, like in regards to me, people telling you probably not trust me because I'm chaos and everyone. Oh, no, 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 no. It ain't got nothing to do with that shit. There's people in the way of the Simone brothers who I have a lot of respect and love for, and I can't figure out why they protect them. And no, it's not Nancy. It's other people. Okay. Okay, so, I mean, I'm not gonna ask for names because I'm, I don't want to put, I don't, I don't care about knowing all the, I mean, I obviously care about information, however, uh, I'm not gonna push for something that you ain't gonna give, you know? Uh, but, yes, I mean, it doesn't matter who they are, it just matters mm -hmm. that, uh, for some reason, everybody, uh, goes above and beyond for protecting these guys, and then I ask for why, and it's the most nonchalant, uh, uh, pathetic reasons you know if if this guy saved you know your, your life or you know saved your dog or you know changed your life sure but the reasons i hear are oh this guy can provide me with things oh this guy can do this for me a anybody can do those things i haven't i have yet to hear one legitimate reason as to why the simone brothers are so well protected yeah no i i fucking agree dude i absolutely agree and it seems like i think you are literally the only other person that I am that is probably as riled up as I am in terms of those two individuals. There's people that don't like them for their personal reasons or don't like them because they don't like what they stand for, but they're not going to do anything about it. Yeah. No one's ever going to do anything about it, and I don't blame them. I actually don't blame them. I not I don't want people that I care about to get hurt because I, I think you should ask Bundy what he really thinks about the Simones. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. I really I'll think you should. Him, but it, like I said, Lank, if you want to know his thoughts, you should ask him yourself. It doesn't matter if I ask him. He don't know me. All right. If he if he if you're his daughter and he fucking loves you, you know, whatever. Maybe he'll be honest with you. Ask him how he acquired a fucking sniper rifle to shoot the God of death. OK. I'll ask him. But... And tell him not to lie to you if he truly loves you. I don't think there's an ulterior motive here besides whatever the fuck is going on, you know? I don't think he has any bad intentions. The dude never has bad I, intentions. It's, it's, I don't think he's got bad intentions, uh, you know, towards you. But I, I think, you know, you got to understand, the PD, they operate as a, as a brother and sisterhood. You know, they all got each other's backs. And, uh, you know, when one is, uh, you know, trying to protect some people, maybe others are involved to try and help that, uh, you know, brother or sister do the same. Does anyone in the PD know that he's alive? Uh, does anybody, like, confirmed? Yeah, like... I would say a few not, not probably no confirmed, but a majority probably assume. Do you, like, do you know any name? Like, do you know for a fact that there's people that know confirmed? I know that for a fact, yes. So the PD fucking know. Why the fuck does the PD know? I mean, I, I like, don't is know. Is this guy an idiot? Uh, whoa. Uh, yes, I mean, he's not the brightest. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. You know what I mean? I mean, come on. But uh, I think there's reasons they know. And those reasons might be because, uh, you know, they're protecting him. My assumption, anyways. I could be wrong. So this guy goes around shooting a bunch of officers and whatnot, uh, causing whatever trauma. 
I don't know, some bombing shit, whatever, and now they want to suck his dick? I mean, yeah, that's that's the most blunt the way to put it, yeah. What the fuck is wrong with this city? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with people? Are they, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Don't really know. <laughs> Listen, happens? guys, Lang never really stirs. With this situation, he'll stir it all day. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm gonna be completely honest with you and open and vulnerable. Whatever. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do if, you know, they get pissed off that I'm talking about them to you. No, but because they don't know I, shit. I mean, what the fuck are they gonna do? Are they gonna come after you again? Is that is that is that the entire body of work of two famous terrorists tormenting a woman? I, they apparently they said that if. When we got out of that shit, apparently they said that if I fucking speak about them, then I'm fucking dead and everyone else is dead or whatever. I don't fucking know. I'll make a state announcer right now. Michael Simone is alive. Any information on this man, reward $1 million bounty. <laughs> why would you do that, though? Wouldn't you want there to be an advantage? Why, why just because, because nobody else would do it, Cleo. And I always do what people don't do. That's great. And I respect you for that, and I like you more for that, and it makes me want to hang out with you more for that. But logistically speaking, and is it a smart thing to do? Oh, it's definitely like I said, it's not smart, no, because I have people on the way who I love and respect uh, that uh, would be very upset okay. if I did. Let me, let me, let me put this in in perspective real quick. You have people that you love and care about oh? that um decide that they want to hang, they want to be friends and uh. I don't know, be a uh, work. I don't know if they work with him or I, I don't fucking know, but they would rather put. How do I explain this? How do I make this make sense? It is morally fucked up to decide huh? to be on good terms with two fucking terrorists that for fun decide that they want to go ahead and taunt people who have zero fucking power. Or Zero can't you? Anything. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's. It's not just pathetic. me. It was other people as well that got involved by accident because of me, I guess, or because of uh, circumstance, whatever. But the the thing is, like, after knowing that information, what they did to individuals and what they are capable of and what they do for fun. Yeah, because Lang is not a terrorist. That that's the best part. <laughs> decide that they still want to continue a friendship with those individuals. People's morals are fucked, and I get it. You don't necessarily have to. I don't know, fight against these people. I'm not asking for anyone to do that. I don't want everyone to do that. But uh -huh. you can avoid people. You can not want to associate yourselves with them. Why does everyone... Yeah, but nobody got morals in this city, Cleo. There's a difference, though. And there's morals in terms of, you know, wanting to be fucking buddy-buddy with Michael and Nick Simone. And then there's morals in terms of, you fucked with my family, I'm going to shoot you in the head. Whatever, gang wars, whatever. I don't give a Fair. shit about that fucking street shit. I don't care about gang wars. This is bigger than that because everyone wants to talk about Michael and Nick. And uh, I have my own personal reasons. And my biggest reason, my biggest issue is Nick. It's, it's Nick. It's the fact that he has gotten away with everything that he has done to me and the people that I care about. And is running a fucking hospital. Yeah. And his brother is fucking alive. And he, his whole thing started because he hates corruption. Yet his brother is on the board of directors at a hospital and he's a terrorist. Yeah. And nobody gives a shit. No one gives a shit. Have you that ever asked yourself why? Me off. <laughs> because they're scared or because they, they want to they wanna be on this uh, pedestal with him? No, oh, they want to side with power, Cleo. That's what people do. And uh, the Simones are really good at pretending they have a lot of that. <laughs> I just spoke to my friend recently about accepting defeat and swallowing your pride. You reckon I need to do that and just fucking move on? Oh, you should have moved on a long time ago, yeah. You know, you know, you know, Cleo, don't worry about it, you know, because I'm going to take them down. 
You know what I mean? It, it gotta be nobody else's job. I'm gonna do it. It'll eventually happen. Like I said, I got some, I got some people on the way who are preventing me from okay. doing it right now. It would have been then done already, but you know, I gotta, I will, you know. Uh, then I'll give you information. In Nick Simone's house is a torture room. There's that. Um, Where does he live? It's down in. I'd have to check it up, but I can probably take you to it. It's somewhere in the Vinewood Hills. I think he's got multiple properties. Probably. I mean, the dude's rich. Mm. There's a torture basement in his in his house that he took me to and tortured me. Michael was also there. Hmm. If you can give me the fucking uh, location of this house, I'll fucking kick the doors down. No problem. You got an M You have access to the MTW, right? Are you signed in? Yeah. All right. Type his name in. Nicholas Simone. It's somewhere up in the Vinewood Hills. Uh, Beachside Avenue 38 and Normandy Drive 10. Um, then it's Normandy Drive 10. That's in the Vinewood Hills. Beachside is all, uh, on the, uh, by, like, Dean's World and shit. Wait, how does he have a weapons license? Because... He's never been caught for anything because he's really good. At uh, unlawful imprisonment, gang-related shooting, possession of contraband in the third degree, first-degree robbery, vehicle registration fraud, misdemeanor possession of controlled substance, public indecency, triple possession of a firearm, triple possession of a firearm class three. How the fuck does he have a weapons license? This is what I don't understand. How do I revoke a weapons license? I'm going to do it right now. How do I do it? Um, you, I think only cops can do it, but in the MTW, you just go on their profile and on the right hand side, from what I remember, you just click the X. I'll call Titus. Oh, yeah. Hey, Lang, what's up? Hey, Titus, I was uh, bored here in my office, uh, just going through the MTW, and uh, why does Nicholas Simone have a weapons license with all these charges on his record? Mm, I don't know. Uh, I've never, never really looked at it before. Yeah, I mean, if you bring it up right now, uh, if you bring it up right now, this guy's got a lengthy ass record, uh, you know, uh, including a criminal possession of a firearm class two and class three and somehow uh, has a weapons license. Huh, that is interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, let me take a look here. Uh, weapons license. I mean, it's been removed in the past. He had an expungement. Um, let's see here. There are a lot of priors. So I don't know who, I don't have any record of like who would have issued that license. But, um, let me just uh -huh. take a quick look at his past incidents here. Parking violations, Sonia Summers. So, okay, so if if someone, if the officer, they would have to come from an officer, Mr. Buddha, but no. uh, if they off, if officers called me up and said, based on his, his stuff, we want to remove it, I, I, I personally wouldn't just because when I look into his priors, it's been more than 30 days since any of these charges occurred. So he would fall under any, you know, honestly, anyone. If, if you know, it doesn't matter who the person is, any of the big criminals in town, if they went 30 days without, you know, any violent felonies, they came to me, said, hey, I want a gun license, and they've met the requirements. Then I oh, so they don't actually need their record expunged, as long as it's been a certain amount of days since they've committed you a crime? You got it. Yeah, you got it. Yep. Okay, I understand. All right, that makes yep. sense. Yeah, so if, right. if he if he had done that shit, like, last week, I'd be gotcha. like... Gotcha. Yeah, well, I, I would have probably told you to get an officer to recommend to me to pull it because that would have been due process. But yep. yeah, in this instance, it wouldn't it wouldn't wouldn't fly. All right. All right. Thank you, Titus. I appreciate you, my man. Anytime, Lang. Have a good Bye -bye. one. Bye. What did he say? Um, listen, that doesn't matter. You know, you know what uh, I just uh, uncovered here. Mm -hmm. uh, as of ten oh three twenty twenty two. Michael Simone is confirmed deceased. You want to know who confirmed this? The cops, doctors. Jenny Hall and Jay Bundy.
As a mayor, can you request for the report, the autopsy report? You can, right? Oh, it doesn't matter because we know he's alive, Cleo, right? I mean, yes, but if the cops are fucking lying about it. Cleo, Cleo. It's the cops. But more importantly, it's uh, one of those cops is Bundy, a man who you stand here claiming is, you know, not corrupt, very trustworthy. You trust him with your life, yada, yada, yada. Um, I, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about that. Right. Let's, let's go, let's go to, let's go to the house. Actually, we need to, we need to be careful. Uh, Cleo, you need to wake we up and smell the uh, fucking coffee. Just... I don't know what these people's obsession with you are, but now it seems like, okay, from an outside perspective, they're, uh -huh. they're like I implanting people in your life who work for them, uh, to, you know, keep an eye on you. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> no. I'm 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 not an idiot, or I at least wasn't a fucking idiot. Yeah, why why would why would Bundy confirm he's deceased? I don't know. Like the fucking guys have money. They're they they're, they're rich. Like what if they paid fucking? Okay. What if they paid Bundy when off? Someone... Yeah, I mean that's no, no, what I'm no, wondering no, no, as well. No, no, no. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. Okay. You have money. You get a doctor right. in the hospital. Someone who does autopsies. You pay them a shit ton of money, or you threaten them with someone that they fucking care about. Okay. They, uh, what do you need in order to confirm someone's identity? Identity uh, while they're dead, you need their DNA. DNA, you need any teeth, form of DNA. fingernails. Yeah, yeah. Fingerprints. Okay. How difficult would it be for a doctor to swab someone's fucking DNA and then put it on the little sheet, Michael Simone? There is the cops. Uh, they're gonna trust the fucking doctor. So what if it's a doctor? Nick works at the hospital, Lang. I've been in the city for a very, very long time, and the only way to fake your death is to get a cop to uh, pretty much confirm you're dead. Then why is why why are there cops that like? Uh, okay, a cop isn't going to. That's why I'm asking for the autopsy report because a, a cop isn't going to alter an autopsy report that is written by the doctor. Okay, let me let me see here. Up to autopsy route. There's none. Uh, I can't see any here personally. Um, how can I sniff this out without having these motherfuckers annoy me again? You know Doctor Namakazi? Who? Doctor Namakazi? Jeffy. Jeffy. He's a doctor. No, 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 no. I got no, a doctor. No, 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 no Cleo. No, no. Jeffy. no. Jeffy. Doctor oh Namakazi. Listen to me, Jeffy. Who the fuck is that? He's a doctor. Okay. He's been a doctor right, for okay, a very before, long time. Okay, okay. Before we make any decisions, before we make any decisions, look, Jeffy is someone that I've known for a very long time who ended up in. Cleo, in, I don't in, trust in anybody Nick. you trust. They're probably secret double sleeper Jeffy, agents for the Jeffy fucking Simones, Cleo. Got attacked by Nick. I do not care. Listen, you leak any of this, I swear to God, Cleo. Why would I, I leak it? Blank, why would I leak it? Do why not I fucking talk to anybody, especially people you well. trust the most. Let okay, me figure this out. Alone. Let me, let us figure this out. Jesus. No, 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 no. no. I'll you, listen to listen, you. Listen, all, all the people in your life it. are sleeper agents. I'm, I'm just convinced. I'm just convinced. Okay, everybody in your life agent? is a sleeper agent, except for maybe Bryce. He's just a you're moron. You're double crossing me. You met up with Michael. Why should I trust you? I mean, you don't have to. I don't give a fuck if you don't trust okay. me. Okay. All right, okay, but we both want the same fucking thing, and there's not many people in this city that want the same fucking thing, and I don't care if you've got money, I don't care if you've got power, I don't care if you have the fucking tools to get rid of them. Look, none the of that is, matters. What matters is, is we ask the right people the right questions so this doesn't get leaked, okay, and all, all the right, people around you are make, probably sleeper agents. Okay, Lang, before you make any decisions, the only thing that I'm requesting for is you telling me why you trust this person, who they're associated with. Do a little background check, man. Listen, That's me it. and Dr. Namakazi, we go way back, okay? He's a fellow okay. Brazilian friend of mine, okay? We used to party in Brazil all the fucking time. He works at the hospital. He has been for fucking years. He's done me a couple of favors. I could ask him. Don't you trust think he'd him. be scared of losing his fucking job if he access Michael Simone's autopsy? No, he doesn't, because the things he's done for me would have cost him his job and tenfold, okay? I protect my people. Okay, are people going to get scared of getting fired, or are they going to get scared of someone with a sniper rifle on a corner of a fucking building watching their every move? 
Uh, Dr. Namikaze, listen, just just trust me, Claire. Just trust me. All right? I will get the information. Sorry. I will pull oh the autopsy God. report. Listen, this is the best way to do it. Or we just don't fucking do it and we never find out. And then, you know, your, your fucking saying... fake-ass father can keep pretending he gives a fuck about you while he's okay. feeding all the information all right, to Simone's. You, okay, you, you, okay. <laughs> You have your opinions. I have mine. I'm just running, trying to find a um, halfway meeting point here. That's it. Okay, so let's put a pause on this. I will speak to my doctor, and we'll reconvene in a couple of days, and hopefully have the information that we both seek. Okay. Um, if in time, what the f what are you hearing? That fucking siren? Yeah, it's a lot of Santos. There's sirens everywhere. <laughs> fucking Christ. Yeah, well, when you spend what feels like decades in purgatory, you kind of get sensory overload. Um, um, that Nick's house, um, it's, it's, uh, you walk through the fucking door and it's on, like, the, the left-hand side, there is a door that leads down to a fucking basement. There's two, like, cots there, there's, the, there was, like, a chair there, um. There's dead fucking, bodies there, last time you were there? No, it was me and the fucking chair being tortured okay okay um listen let's not get sidetracked i'm gonna talk to this doctor i'm gonna get the autopsy report and then i will let you know uh you should probably stop calling me i'll call you on a payphone or a Can burner a phone? yeah or a Can burner, yeah. burner phones for us uh i'll get two yeah i don't have any uh, right now, i could it'll probably take I could a few days I'm sure uh, he listen no 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 you ain't asking nobody Okay. Well, I mean, Bane is someone that I've known for a very long time, and we met, and he gave me a fucking burner phone when he was in prison. He's a really good friend uh, of mine. I will, you know, I'll get the burner phones. Just pretend okay. that everybody in your life, besides maybe Bryce, is a sleeper agent willing to kill okay. you. Bryce is not <laughs> a sleeper agent. I know that. Oh, I said maybe Bryce. I'll give him okay. the benefit of the doubt. Do you, please, <laughs> please, and I am begging you, do <laughs> not mention this conversation to anyone, even if it's someone you trust. And love don't that worry, I will not. Me. I Please. will not. It's my Trust life. me, you have my word. I will not. Okay. All right. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. I'll make some phone calls, Cleo. We split part. We part ways here. I'm going to bed. All right. I'll see you uh, probably right. tomorrow or some shit. Uh, okay. If I'm around, I'll. I don't know. Let just get the bonus. Hey, Mayor. How can I help you? Hey, I got a question for you, Bass. Yeah. Then I need you to keep this between us. Who are you around right now? Uh, Malton, Muller, Stubble, Anita, All right, Bison, step away, step away, step away, step away, step away. Okay. The conversation we had yesterday about corruption and all this fucking bullshit. Yeah. What about him? You are alone, right? Listen, ba Bass, listen, you're like, you're like Commissioner Gordon and I'm Batman. Like, we need this trust, you know? I'm the anti-hero who can do things you can't do to get the information you need. You understand me? Like, this relationship needs to work. No, I know exactly our relationship. So, you obviously know Michael Simone is alive, right? Yes, I am aware of what happened. So, how did you ever ask yourself uh, why Jenny Hall and Bundy uh, were the ones that confirmed he was dead? I don't have an answer for that, actually. I, I do don't. have an answer. They're covering for the Simones, aren't they? I am baffled because um, they wouldn't let us see the body the day he um, was declared dead. They who would who wouldn't let you see the body? Uh, Jenny and Bundy. And why doesn't this? What, what, so how do you get this information, right? As a man who's under oath and you just do nothing with it. Well, I mean, at the time, I was the chief of police, right? Um, oh, so this was before you this, got your well, position. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, that's understandable. Back. Back. Yeah. And so, what was the reaction to, to, to that? Well, me, people? Brian, and Fred didn't believe it. We were actually um, against it. However, we wanted to play the game to see how far they can cover it up. So, so we already know then that Jenny Hall and Bundy are corrupt as fuck and helped fake death. To a certain extent, yes. What happened is. Um, they investigated the Simones and it seemed like instead of trying to bring them down, they decided to join them. They got really close to them. <laughs> Listen, you fucking slimy cockroach bass. We better be on the same fucking side. You understand me? 
I would have lied to you. I could just come up I with just, the bullshit. I, I don't know. Right I, now. I feel like I, I feel like we are finally on the relationship that we need to be on. I, I just hope you're not fucking with me. Because if you're fucking with me, Bass, I will fucking... All my firepower will be directed at you until you're dead. You understand me? <laughs> you don't think I know that? You think I'm stupid? I don't think you're stupid. And I don't like you a lot. All right? I have a lot of respect for you. Likewise. Now, That's why I well, respect Is there you no plan for Bundy you. and Hall for being corrupt? As fuck? Well, Listen, there's a difference between you killing a cat that nobody gives a shit about and these guys actively helping known terrorists get away. The person you'd probably need to talk to the most about this is Brian. He has the most information about it. Yeah, this. but I, 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 I spoke, I've spoken to Brian and he is aware of all of this. We've spoken in depth about this. And I'm just wondering why is there never any action? It's not like Nicholas Simone is hiding. I um I don't know what to say because um I don't know why nothing came out of it in the past. I don't know if something distracted me. I was looking to something else. I was doing a bunch of bullshit. I don't know what happened. And you're right. It got swept beneath the rug, like if nothing happened. Okay. Right. Interesting. Keep this between us, all right? I'm working on something. I'll bring it to you soon. All right. I, also, I spoke with Elizabeth. Yeah. She should be home today, and uh, she can start working on a docket post. Perfect. Um. There was something else. No, we're good. I'll talk to you soon. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Hello. Hey, listen, I know we agreed on burner phones and all that shit, but uh, yeah. I just got some more information you should probably know. And then, uh, you know, you do with it as you will. And I'm going to go to sleep and I will get the other information that uh, we both need. But, uh... One of my okay. contacts in the PD, very trustworthy, uh, would never betray me. Has been there for a very, very long time. We've done a lot of work together. Uh, okay. Let me know that Bundy and Jenny Hall allowed no other police officer to see the body. Who's the police officer that told you? Uh, I can't tell you, Cleo. You can, listen, you can just not believe this information. It's up to you at the end of the day. It's I'm not just... that I'm not believing this information. I just know what misconstrued out, like, in look, outlook can look like. I was told. Okay, this is simply what I was told. All right? And then you can do with it as you will. Uh, Bundy all allowed nobody to see the body. And this officer told me uh, verbatim that uh, these two officers... Uh, were investigating the Simones and then for some reason, quote unquote, ended up joining them. And he could never understand why. Okay. Bye, Cleo. Uh, right. Bye, Lang. <laughs> Dude, this Simone shit is crazy. I can't believe we just found this out. That's insane. Insane. And the worst part was, is we just gave Bundy a fucking position in the VPD. That's crazy. Bro, can this go? I mean, we're we're logging off, anyways. That's crazy. I gotta get Dr. Namakazi's fucking phone. I don't even know. Nam. Uh, okay, we just put Kazi. Oh. There we go. We don't have his number still, though. 
They talked to me too. Hey, I um, sent the account info over to Mary. She said she paid it, so the twenty-five million should be in the account. Perfect. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm also. I almost have the redraft of the Aegis legislation. Done. Uh, hey, basically, hey Tim, don't beat yourself up on it. You know what I mean? Like, you did nothing wrong. It's just the way people that need to digest shit in the city is like Crane said it. It's just, if they yeah, can't no, understand no, no. it in 10 minutes, then they just don't bother. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I got that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm doing all reference to bonds and all of that from the. I yep. think that'll just simplify it. All right, Tim, listen, you've been uh, you've been a very valuable asset and more importantly, a very great business partner and a friend. I've, uh, you know, uh, hiring you is one of the best decisions I think Cerberus has ever made. Thank you for sticking around and helping, uh, you know, me uh, now more than ever uh, help accomplish all these things. Well, I appreciate that. You know, my loyalty always lies with you and the company. Hell yeah, Tim. You're, you're literally one of the best people I've met in the city. Appreciate you. Yep. Thank you. I appreciate that. You have a good day. All right. I'll see you probably tomorrow. Yep. yep I'll see you. Bye. Tim is the mo one of the most valuable assets we have ever hired into Cerberus. <laughs> uh, it is Tim's stream. I have not. I don't even think he streams, brother. He just likes RPing. I don't know. I I'm pretty sure he's got like a real life career. He he sounds just too smart to to not have one. But, uh, dude, that was actually crazy info we got. Damn. The reason I love the Simone's arc so much, it's because it's all, it literally feels like you're solving a conspiracy theory. That's crazy. <laughs> Paul Yeager one more time. Chad, let me get off. I got to go get the uh, the car serviced today, and then I'm going to go probably get uh, go out. I'm, I'm going to get out the house today. But not not just walking, but go do some shit with Abby. Get some fresh air. So I have the car. Uh, I just haven't driven in a while, so it's been stuck in the garage and it's been freezing. So I gotta get like the battery checked and get the oil changed. All that. All right, chat. Listen, guys, really good stream. Uh, we've been having a lot of great RP. I appreciate all of you. 